Mars, our red neighbor. It has been a planet that humans want to visit for many years. NASA even aspires to the day when humans can settle on Mars. According to a long-term plan, China strives to achieve the goal of its first manned exploration of Mars in 2033 and to conduct follow-up exploration activities on a regular basis. Why is Mars exploration so important? What is China's long-term plan for Mars exploration? When does China think it will be able to achieve Mars immigration? Everyone knows that the U.S. Apollo moon landing program was the product of the U.S.-Soviet Cold War. Whoever is the first to land on the moon will demonstrate the power to dominate the world. Therefore, the whole project is full of hegemonic ideas. The United States even wanted to directly declare the moon as American territory, but it was opposed by the international community. After the end of the Cold War, is landing on Mars also a space race between superpowers? Of course not, the exploration of Mars has its practical significance and even plays a crucial role in the development of the entire human civilization. The first is the study of the origin of life. However, after years of research and detection, the statement that there is intelligent life on Mars has been denied. But recent research has shown the presence of water on Mars, which is essential for carbon-based life. It is not yet possible to determine whether there has ever been life on Mars? If life did exist, how did they evolve? And does their evolution process explain the influence of the environment on the evolution of life, and what enlightenment does it have on the evolution of life on Earth? These are the topics that people want to understand when exploring Mars. Another significance is to prepare for the interstellar immigration that is likely to be carried out by human beings in the future. On September 26, 2013, NASA scientists reported that the Martian soil is rich in water, accounting for about 1.5 to 3 percent, which is enough for future immigrants. On July 25, 2018, People even discovered for the first time the existence of an underground lake with a diameter of 20 kilometers and a temperature of about minus 10 degrees on Mars. This has laid the prerequisites for human immigration to Mars. As for this red world, we still do not fully understand it. Only by continuous exploration in the early stage can we create more convenience for future immigrants. To achieve this ambitious goal, we must first realize manned Mars exploration. China's current manned Mars exploration program proposes a three-step approach. The first step is the robotic Mars exploration technology. The main tasks include the return of Mars sampling, the site selection of the Mars base, and whether the local resources on Mars can be used for system construction. And this step is divided into four stages, which are simply four words, circling, landing, touring, and returning. Circling means that the Mars orbiter can orbit Mars for exploration missions. Don't think this step is simple. On November 8, 2011, China and Russia cooperated and launched the Inhuo-1 probe. But it failed to reach its intended orbit. And it is precisely because of this failure that China decided to no longer rely on other country and insisted on using the domestic Long March series of launch vehicles to launch probes in the future. Besides, landing means that the probe can achieve a soft landing on Mars and detect the Martian environment. Touring is a patrol mission through a Mars rover. Returning is to be able to collect samples of soil from Mars and then return to Earth. On May 15, 2021, China's self-developed Tianwen-1 probe carrying the Zhurong rover successfully landed in a pre-selected area in the southern part of Mars' Utopia plane, making China the second country to successfully land on Mars. On May 22, the Zhurong rover safely left the landing platform and arrived on the surface of Mars to start inspection and exploration. China completed the three steps of circling, landing and touring at one time. 
In addition, China will also plan to launch new exploration satellites between 2028 and 2030 to collect rock and soil samples on the surface of Mars and strive to bring them back to Earth. The second step is to achieve manned probes around Mars, orbital exploration, as well as manned spacecraft to achieve landing exploration on Mars, and even the establishment of exploration bases on Mars in the future. However, it is very challenging. The first is the problem of distance. The first problem is the distance. The distance between the Earth and the Moon is 380,000 kilometers, while Mars is more than 50 million kilometers away from the Earth at its closest, which is 131 times the distance between the Earth and the Moon. In addition, the most suitable launch time only occurs every 26 months, and it will take at least 245 days for the spacecraft to reach Mars. Such a long journey has a great physical and psychological impact on astronauts. If the human body is exposed to high levels of cosmic rays and ionizing radiation for a long time, and there is even a risk of changing the structure of human DNA. Another big problem is that the human body is in a state of weightlessness for a long time. Even if astronauts do as much exercise as they do on Earth, they still lose 1% to 1.5% of bone mineral density every month. Weightlessness can also cause body fluids to squeeze the eyeball, causing astronauts to have vision problems. In addition to the physical challenges, there are the loneliness caused by being away from Earth for long periods of time and the psychological pressure from living in an enclosed space for long periods of time. In order to eliminate these dangers, China is also carrying out various researches and attempts, such as the space station being built. At the same time, China will also join hands with Russia to jointly build a lunar scientific research station and establish a base on the moon in the future, so as to lay the foundation for the establishment of a base on Mars in the future. If the second step can be successfully completed, the third step in the future is to develop and utilize Mars resources on a large scale, and even establish a new human home on Mars. Mars contains very useful mineral resources, enough for future settlers to establish habitats there. For example, underground caverns contain metal elements such as copper, chromium, iron and nickel. Niobium on Mars is a metal material used to make superconductors and special steels. There are also metals such as lanthanum, neodymium and europium, which are used in television monitors and energy-efficient light-emitting diode light bulbs. However, the challenges ahead remain formidable. Although Mars has an atmosphere, 95% of the atmosphere is carbon dioxide. The oxygen content is low and the atmosphere is so thin that humans cannot breathe directly. The average temperature on the surface of Mars is nearly 30 degrees centigrade lower than that of Earth. Although the equator has a comfortable temperature of 20 degrees centigrade during the daytime, it is extremely cold at minus 50 degrees centigrade at night. This all requires the pioneers to change the Martian environment, and this is often the most difficult step. So for now this step is just a great idea. But with the advancement of science and technology, I believe human beings can transform nature and enhance their creative ability, and human beings will one day be able to conquer this red land. Okay, that's all for today. Hot Topics Time, time to explore the wisdom behind the news, we will see you in the next video.